Hello and welcome everyone to anubavtrainings.com. In this free video series, we are learning core capabilities of SAP Generative AI and what is that SAP Generative AI is capable of doing. In this series of videos, you will learn about basic terminologies, understand the core concepts, understand the learning path and our use cases which we had built on SAP Generative AI using SAP BTP. In today's session, we are going to talk about introduction to AI and generative AI. So let's get started. So many of you have heard about AI already. You must be wondering what is AI and what is generative AI. So let's try and understand first of all from the definition perspective. So as you can see the artificial intelligence in short we call it as AI is a field of computer science. It's basically a broad field of computer science which focuses on building systems that can perform tasks usually require human intelligence. Think about when you look at a cat and how does your brain process and identifies that the object which you are looking or a animal you are looking is a cat or a dog. So things which requires human intelligence behavior in a similar manner are part of the AI. So AI, what AI can do, it can recognize the speech, like when you give a voice command to Siri or your Google Assistant, it can understand language, basically writing a text into different languages. It can also make decisions for you, like intelligent decisions, sometimes giving you recommendations like your favorite movies and also can analyze data. So these are the things which AI can do. On the other side, we have generative AI. The generative AI is a subset of artificial intelligence. Computers are not just able to detect things, but now they can be creative and they can generate new things. So the focus here is not just recognizing the pattern, but also being creative and creating completely new content. For example, you can use ChatGPT to write a poem or you can use the other AI based technologies like Anthropic Cloud Sonnet model to create the generative code yeah a BAP code for example and you can also generate images with mid journey or there are a lot of AI tools which can generate new music so new music compositions or you can use open AI Sora to generate videos so it can be creative and generate new content so in other words it doesn't just understand the content but it can also generate the content as you can see in the example the use cases of AI is to understand voice command when you are interacting with Siri or the Google Assistant on your phone or finding the shortest route towards the destination in the Google map or marking certain emails automatically categorizing them as spam or not spam. These are the use cases of AI. On the other side, you can see that you can generate completely new images, compose music or create amazing creative content directly through the help of AI based tools specifically LLMs which we will be discussing also in coming episodes. Now how do you define the generative AI? What's the technology behind it and how the AI and generative AI is pretty different? So you can already make out from this diagram generative AI is the subset of AI. So to understand artificial intelligence we need to first understand how the technology build from each of the AI subcategories listed below. So first comes is the broad field of artificial intelligence, the theory and the methods to build machines that can think and act like humans. So you are now generating, creating fifth generation computers which can think like humans. So your computer is now having the brain. And how does the computer get that brain information? Because it is trained or pre-trained with millions and billions of data. Yeah, lot of data scientists, they are constantly feeding data to the computers, keeping the data stored and letting the computer think like a human brain. Just think about a small baby. A small baby probably doesn't recognize the cat or dog, but as they grew up, as they see more and more objects, as they get the feeling of touching something as cold or, or warm, then they will start developing this memory and this sense of understanding things. In a similar way, we constantly train computers to act them like a human brain. The subset of AI field comes is machine learning, where you are getting an ability for computers to learn from the past experiences. 
and data without human programming so in earlier days we used to give input and program to computers to generate output but when it comes to machine learning we are giving input and predicted output or expected output and computer is refining and redefining the program for you there are a lot of use cases for machine learning in the field of for example detecting the house prices or predicting when uh, or which stock price will go up to what level in near future and these are the examples of regression classification and time series then comes is the deep learning a deep learning mimics the human brain it is made up of artificial neural networks with billions of parameters such as transformers to allow computers to perform complex tasks and this is where the power of generative ai is coming from so generative ai is actually a combination of ai ml and deep learning together which allows you to be creative it generates new text audio images video or code based on content it been also pre-trained lot of examples of generative ai which we all are using on day-to-day -day basis are chat gpt it's an application built using generative ai technology mid journey to generate images google bard so these are all the different generative ai examples and applications which are successfully implemented in real world as of today which we are using on day-to-day -day basis now let's understand the core differences between ai and generative ai on different aspects so first is the primary function the traditional ai is predominantly used to analyze data make predictions and automate tasks for example predict the house price or in a set of patients predict which patient have ability to develop heart disease or not whereas generative ai can generate new content such as text images and music like you ask chat gpt to write a beautiful essay for you then the impact the ai has a broader impact across industries whereas generative ai push the boundaries of creativity content creator lot of blog writers novel writers they are now successfully using generative ai to generate new content lot of youtubers are also using ai based technologies to generate videos data requirements in case of traditional ai it requires large amount of labeled data for training labeled data means where you traditionally can think of a database table having the column names available along with the data whereas in generative ai it utilizes large data set often can be unlabeled as well for training them and this is what open uh, open ai organization have done they have used billions and billions of data to train and build their own model and these models are called llm model large language models which have now the ability to do prediction and generation of new content what are the model examples when it comes to traditional ai you might have heard about decision tree recommendation system which is recommending you movies and products on amazon rule based systems which are marking your emails as spam or not whereas the generative ai has gan and vaes use cases of traditional ai is to predict future events like for example predicting next quarter sales fraud detection personalized shopping experiences whereas in case of generative ai it's more creative tasks like content creation drug discovery yes where you give billions of data and and parameters and it can then provide you chemical compositions to innovate new drugs or solve a problem or also synthetic data generation control over the output the output in the traditional ai is uh, deterministic and based on input features whereas in generative ai the output is more uh, predictive it is probabilistic and can be less predictable sometimes right sometimes the creators of biggest ai tools also cannot predict what will be the output when they give it and feed it to the generative ai tools well you can see in simple example on the left hand side is an ex example of traditional ai as you can see people are crossing the road there are cars on the road so here we can use generate uh, simple ai to detect different objects like humans animals and car as well as the non-living objects 
whereas on the right side you can see a image which was created using generative ai and most probably i have used here the mid journey to create this image so it can be very very creative now this is of course not a realistic city and not a real city but we have used generative ai capability to create an image well i hope you got a basic idea with example and categorization between ai and generative ai for more videos like this stay tuned to our channel we hope to see you in the next episode with us on anubhavtrainings.com till then happy building happy creating ai tools thank you and goodbye